We had quite a bit of rain out here in the Seerberg Mountains, in the thicket. And whenever we get lots of rain, we get things that we don't normally see pop out. And we got a giant earthworm. Just let's put my shoe in there for scale. Oh, uh, no, there we go. More than a meter in length. And um, shame, he's trapped here on the road, so it's too hard for him to get uh, to, to be able to burrow down in. Uh, but I'll shift him back onto the back into the thicket, um, back into that undergrowth. It's difficult to imagine such a creature in this like really clay soil, like how he gets in and out. But uh, yeah, an amazing thing. These giant earthworms in the subtropical thickets. They just go on and on and on. Oh, let's see if we get a get a different angle on him. Yeah, shame they get stuck on these, uh, stuck on the path, these pathways on the roads. They can't get back in. So I think the reason why do they come up to the surface? I don't necessarily think it's because of the uh, because of the rain. I think sometimes it is, but I have seen them where after a big rainfall event, they all come out uh, to breed. So they get to the surface so they can find each other. Uh, and you you can find uh, uh, you know five or six of them quite close to one another. Uh, I've never actually seen them kind of breeding. It's just, a, it's just a, uh, an idea that maybe that's what they're, what they're doing. But uh, imagine, I mean, studying the biology of this thing, they're so difficult to find, so difficult to study until they pop up after heavy rain quite rare to see and uh, then they go back under again quite amazing anyway so we've had some decent rains if they're now out out and about Uh, so I'd I'd pick him up and uh, from there from there. Yeah. There we are. Hmm. Really just yeah, I think just underneath there. Survive here, you're probably not as fragile as you look. Just gonna flip him over. If they can actually get in there, yeah. yeah it's really hard soil yeah. to then suddenly yeah. just be able to squash in like that. Yeah, there's a fair bit of him to go. Oh, uh, it. Does that make it again? I think so. Yeah. I don't know much about it. I think they are. Is that the right term? Yeah.
Uh, here's another one. I think even bigger than the last. Yeah, let's get something in, in the picture for scale. That's my shoe there. Ah, look at that chap. So I'm going to take him off the road just now and put him back into the felt. Shame he can't get in, get stuck on the roads because of the compactedness. They can't get in. So he's been going up and down this road since last night. Um, so we'll just shift him out into the degraded thicket. Uh, and uh, yeah, he'll be able to get back under there. But look at the size of him. Absolutely massive. finger when he bunches up. Got the tape measure out. There's the one meter mark. 1.6 meters. that when he bunches up. What a beautiful one. The really strange thing is that he's completely weak and helpless. Though. Like there's no it's not fast, can't can't like race off anywhere. And it also isn't like exuding any kind of um, I don't know something that smells bad or just he just kind of is just weak and helpless and relies on hiding under the soil for protection. There's no um, secretions that's the word I was looking for. No secretions of any sort. Yeah, nothing that really smells noxious or anything like that. So here's another one that obviously came up for the night and uh, another one also up ahead right up, right up here. That one looks even longer. Uh, after a little bit of rain, so we haven't had enough rain to force them out of the, out of the soil. Um, I mean there's no like massive puddles or that uh, these guys are coming up to to, I'm pretty sure participate in their reproductive biology. They came up last night and then trapped on the road. I think I don't think we'll find one in there at all. Anyway, we're spending our morning rescuing giant earthworms. I think it's a pretty well spent morning. Can't drive like a hundred meters without coming across another one. Yeah, I 
idea of the scale.